Phase Sensor. Does that name ring a bell? It probably does, as this is the biggest idiot I think we've ever had to endure on the internet. This man, do you know someone? What was she called? Uh, Yannette Garcia. Do you remember her? I, I know for a certain you remember Yannette Garcia. Oh, is it coming back to you now? You remember Yannette Garcia? Well, remember Phase Sensor? He broke up with her to pursue Call of Duty, the biggest L anyone in the entire human race has ever taken. I'm sure he's loving making having made that choice it was very clever and i'm sure it paid off now face center was always a bit of a donkey wasn't he he was always a bit of a wet wipe a bit of a softy he's no longer face center but i'm going to call him face center he's been i thought he was removed from the internet i thought he disappeared i thought he wasn't real now he's got into trouble he's, he's made a boo-boo he's made a real big boo-boo he said the f word now the f word what a word i'm which f word you ask we're about to find out but this is possibly the worst most cringeworthy embarrassing apology video i have ever seen it's as bad as that woman on the ukulele. Don't send some more and spin that shit, you pussy ass bia. Hey guys, I want to make this video because if I don't do this right now, the internet in 2023 is undefeated. And in a snap of a finger, if I go to sleep tonight, I'm going to have this on my mind all night. I'm not going to sleep well. <laughs> He's going to have it on his mind all night. He's not going to sleep well. He's going to be sad. Oh, poor Doug said tomorrow. Oh my, he's going to be in bed. Thinking of all the lives he's ruined. The world that he's destroyed. I feel terrible. I'm not going to feel good in any way whatsoever. And I'm going to wake up tomorrow and I'm just going to feel like shit. And I just know if I don't do this now, it's only going to be worse than what it already is. So I was playing MWC ranked earlier and I slipped up and I said a word I should have said. I let someone get under my skin and I said the F word. I'm not proud about it. So he said the F word. Which F word? Frick? Frigilong? Fook? Fack? Fagoot? I didn't say it. About it because regardless of what anyone's going to think, it's absolutely not something that I stand for or something that I say in my private life ever. I don't say it in my private life. What's all the excuses is that? It's like, yeah, I said the word like on stream and in front of like a thousand people or whatever, but I don't actually ever say the word. It's kind of weird. It just like slipped out, like, you know, when you accidentally run and you shard yourself. I say it right here in my public life, and I slipped up, and I know it, and I cringed when I did it because I knew it was wrong, and I know it's not something that I stand for, and yet I did it anyways. So I'm really disappointed in myself, and almost equally, but not to the same extent. I'm upset because people are going to see this thing and they're going to think that they could do this too because I did it. <laughs> the well-known role model and, you know, looker-upper Faye Sinsen Martin, the Call of Duty pro who dumped the hottest woman in the planet to pursue a career in Call of Duty. We all look up to this guy, don't we? We all, we all think this guy knows how to have a good life and uh, how to live it uh, trimidly, you know, take steroids and play Call of Duty and drink G Fuel until your blood is 100% fluid of caffeine. This guy's off his rocker he must be must be absolutely smoking something in the back there because i'm actually he's not even he's not even said what the word is i don't know what the word is you know what i mean is he is he apologizing for food okay because it's it's not right it's just wrong um you know if you feel some type of way about it i am sorry because it's the truth um and there's nothing more i can honestly do than just tell you guys the truth so i have to hold myself accountable the only thing I can do is apologize. The only thing I can do is tell you guys the honest truth, and it's up to you guys to interpret that however you want to, but all I know for sure, if I go to sleep tonight and I don't say anything, I'm not going to sleep well. I'm just going in circles, but thank you guys. Um, if you understand, if you don't, I understand that too, but... No, I do not forgive you, you piece of dirt shit. Santa apologizes for saying the F slur while playing Call of Duty. It's not something I say in my private life ever. <laughs> Oh, come on. People have said it and, you know, you don't mean it. My brother is actually a, a gay man. I'm a gay man. And he gave me an, an F pass, so uh, it's all right. But look, let's check out the clip. Jesus Christ, bro. Unfollow like me on social media too, you little fucking faggot. <laughs> <laughs> And follow me on social media soon, you little. He had a mouse spasm at the end of it. He didn't quite understand what just happened. He, he seems to have just got disabilities in the space of a heartbeat. Fucking faggot. Yeah, suck on that Miguel dick, faggot ass nigga. <laughs> yeah, of course he puts his he puts his face in the goddamn dick area because he's a motherfucking faggot. <laughs> You see, this guy's apologised because he accidentally called some guy who was trolling him the F-bomb. <laughs> There's people like on social media doing this, like... 
<laughs> oh, this is too good. Face sensor. Face sensor. But yeah, like I said, my brother's actually giving me some F passes. So if you want one, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll send them to your address. Uh, you can say it whenever you want. No strings attached. But like, I think this is pros possibly the funniest thing I've ever seen. I mean, not only did he dump the sexiest weather lady in the world. I mean, Jesus Christ, you could land a plane on it. I mean, <clears throat> anyway, you could land a plane on it, though. Let's get that straight. This guy gave up that for Call of Duty. you got to respect the grind. You know, he's he's absolutely juiced up as well. Look at that. Look at the beast. Look at the beast, man. Look how fucking swole he is. Look at him, man. But I just can't believe he made such an in-depth apology for saying the F-bomb. I mean... It's not really a big deal. I, I I think it's more embarrassing that he actually made such a song and dance about it. I, I didn't even see the clip until he made the apology. I think maybe if he didn't say anything, it would have been even better because no one would have actually seen it. But he's no longer phased, to be fair. Did he get kicked out? Oh, he left phase. He left. Okay, I don't care then. So he plays for Boston Academy. It, it sounds like a school controller platform PC. <laughs> He still plays Call of Duty esports. I mean, you got to be an absolute freak, don't you, to play Call of Duty after all these years when it's so bad year after year and just gets worse and worse and worse. And then he plays for a team. He's played for... He lasted two months, 14 days. That's Faze, Faze Black. <laughs> he played for Optic. He was in Faze for four years. Boston Academy. He was into the beat breach for 26 days. <laughs> Look, this dude is the biggest wet wipe I've ever laid eyes upon. I mean, imagine having that and giving it up to play Call of Duty World War 2. It's, it's embarrassing, it's tragic, it's absolutely horrific, and I feel sorry for everyone who knows this man. But that has got to be the best apolo uh, apology video you've ever seen in terms of laughing at him. He's, 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 I have no words.